Yep, here we go again. Minecraft has just announced a brand new cape, which would make it the fourth one this year. But you may be asking, isn't this just another cape? Well, actually, no. You see, this cape is actually perfect, and I'm not just talking about the design. So today, I'm going to be discussing why this new Minecraft cape is exactly what the community wanted, and I'm also going to be explaining how to get it too. So let's get right into it. This new red and gold cape is named the Minecraft Championship cape, quite a long name, I know. But it's a super unique cape that looks very different from any of the other capes we have gotten. I'll go into more detail on how to get it in a bit, but all you need to know for now is that you join a server on Bedrock Edition and complete challenges to eventually unlock it. Also, many people think that this cape is Bedrock only, meaning it won't come to Java sadly. Well, that's actually not true. I've heard mixed messages, but I'm 90% sure that this cape will come to Java as well, because Mojang have started to make their capes cross-compatible, and on top of that, apparently a member of the Nox crew team, which are the people who made the map, said that Mojang are going to bring the cape to Java as well. So don't miss out because of misinformation. Anyways though, why is this cape perfect? Simply because it's not completely free. Players have to work hard for this cape, and as you'll see in a minute, it takes quite a long time to complete all the challenges for it. This type of cape has been something that the community has craved for years now, a cape that is actually a reward for completing a difficult task. I also want to add that I think the future of capes is basically set at this point. I wouldn't be surprised if we see another or maybe two more capes by the end of this year, and hopefully they will be similar to this one. The only capes that we got that are kind of like similar to this are the Realms cape, which, it, judging by the owners, you can see how difficult it is to obtain this one, and this MCC cape will be easier to get. And because this cape requires quite a large amount of effort, we can expect to see the number of owners be exponentially lower than any of the other easy capes. I'm talking along the lines of 30,000 or less owners, because most people won't be willing to put in the effort, so don't be that guy who regrets not getting it. Go do your challenges. And if you don't know what you're supposed to do, let me talk you through it. Also, if you're enjoying the video so far, subscribe. So what you're going to want to do is launch up the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft, which can be found in the launcher from the tab Minecraft for Windows. Then you should see a button on the side of the main menu which says Join the Event. You want to click on that button and then get a feel for your surroundings, and I advise you to join and play through each of the four minigames at least once beforehand so you can get the gist of them all and get some coins. After you've played through them, right click on the challenge list. You'll see 15 different boxes which are all of the challenges that need to be completed to earn the cape. Now it's really your choice which order you do them. I did them in order because that's just easier for me, but you can really do whatever ones you want in whatever order. For the challenges in which you have to wear a hat, go toward the Meltdown minigame and then go through the fossil. Go up the stairs and you'll see the mascot hat store, which holds every single hat that you need for your challenges. So choose a challenge, buy the appropriate hat if it requires one, equip it in the cosmic chest and then go do the challenge. For the llama challenge, the way to gift people is by going to the meltdown minigame area, but turning the other way. Go all the way down the cave to the toy store, and the gifting box should be at the bottom. Buy 10 of them, wear the llama hat, and then right click on people to gift them. Something else you'll want to know is for the axolotl quest, the lost pearl is in the final section of the grid runners minigame. Finally, the last challenge cannot be completed yet as it would take 7 days to fully unlock. To get as far as you can in it, go to the Grid Runners minigame area, then go up the mountain. Go in the cave and talk to this dude. Click the painting on the wall and then go back to the center of the world and do the wave emote by pressing B and then selecting it. As of now, the other 6 days are still locked, but by the time this video comes out, you should be able to do every step. But how long will all of these challenges take? Well... Uh, it's currently 2.40am and I know what I'm looking for today, which is why I'm on the Bedrock Edition. I'm gonna be honest guys, I've already played one of these minigames before recording, but hey, let's check out the others. Sands of Time. Great. Great. You have found okay, let's just get right into it, I guess. Okay, coins. Can I eat the flower? No. Okay. What am I even supposed to do? Wait, kill the players? No? 
bro is stealing my treasure. Can I get naked? No? Can I craft crimson planks? Or a jack-o'-lantern? I'm just like actually confused. What What is going on? What does this do? Oh, our, fr our friend needs help. Oh, okay, here we go. Let's get these, okay, what do they do? Oh, they give me extra time to win. Okay, we got a chest here. Oh. oh. What do I do then? So I, I found this key. Hopefully I'll win now, I guess. I don't know. All right, here we go. Oh, fuck off. Wait, how do I get back to the chest? We're running low on time and I am lost. I swear I came from here. Why is it blocked off? Wait, is it back up here, maybe? Wait. Yeah, this is it. This is. Go, 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 go. Oh. Well, I have no idea what that was. All right, meltdown. Sounds like what I'm about to have. Wait, I have to wait? No, my TikTok attention's back. What's the rarest block in Minecraft? Mojang have a dark secret. I have no eyes. It's genuinely said roughly two minutes for like 20 minutes now. Oh, holy sh! finally. All right, what do we have to do on this one? Shoot the zombies and break them? Wow, that's dark. I'm popping off. Oh my god, these sudden loud noises are actually going to be the death of me. We gotta leave, guys. Come on, it's melting down. One of seven? Oh my god, this is going to be a long one. To be fair, this is quite a unique mini game. It's like something you'd find on Realms. Oh, we got a lot of them here. <gasps> oh, we gotta go, guys. Wait, where's the door on this one? Wait. Shit. No, wait, wait. Oh, it's here, it's here, it's here. <gasps> oh my Jesus Christ. Oh, this got serious quick. That's quite a difficulty spike, you know, from like zombies and stuff to fucking vindicators. Oh, I'm gonna die. No! All right, we're fine. No, we're not, help me! What, he died? I'm done, I'm so done. <laughs> oh, well, you can't win them all, I guess. So I've done it and it only took four hours. If we log onto the server, you could clearly see I've done all of the challenges I possibly could. And it's only 6 a.m., guys. So yeah, if you're gonna go for this cave, you should probably do it over the course of a few days and not all at once. Anyways, now I have some questions for you. What do you think about this new cave? And are you going to be grinding for it? I'd love to hear the answers to both of those questions down in the comments. Finally, thank you to everyone who mentioned this new cape in the Google form I put out. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.